This video will help guide you through the steps to prepare your Tisil Fibrin Sealant Lyophilized Kit for use before surgery. Tisil Fibrin Sealant comes in three different sizes, 2, 4, and 10 milliliters. You can easily identify the product size by the labeling on the front of the package and the colored circle on the end of the box. Each kit contains four separate vials. The freeze-dried sealer protein concentrate, a human fibrinogen concentrate, human thrombin, the synthetic fibrinolysis inhibitor solution, and calcium chloride. When prepared properly, these components will create two reconstituted solutions, a sealer protein solution and a thrombin solution. The kit also contains the Duploject syringe applicator, two Y-shaped joining pieces, four applicator cannulas, four syringes, four needles, and finally, the Tisil fibrin sealant package insert. For flexibility in storage at your institution, the Tisil fibrin sealant kit can be stored either at room temperature or refrigerated per the expiration date printed on the package. Once the product is prepared for use during surgery, it must be used within four hours. The first step in preparing Tisil fibrin sealant is to preheat the vials in the fibrinotherm heating and stirring device. First, the circulating nurse will turn on the amber switch to activate the warming element. The indicator light on the fibrinotherm will light, indicating the device is heating the vial. When the indicator light goes out, the operating temperature has been reached. Next, place all four vials into the pre-warmed, appropriately sized heating wells of the fibrinotherm device and allow the vials to warm for up to five minutes. When the vials have been warmed to 37 degrees Celsius, begin reconstitution of the sealer protein solution. The syringes and needles necessary for this step are provided in the kit. Be sure to use separate syringes and needles for reconstituting the sealer protein and thrombin solution in order to prevent premature product activation and clotting. Remove the flip-off caps from the vials and disinfect the rubber stoppers with a non-iodine-based disinfectant. Do not use iodine or heavy metal containing preparations such as betadine for disinfection of vial stoppers. Allow the stoppers to dry. Inject the blue capped vial solution into the blue capped vial powder. Now you will transfer the fibrinolysis inhibitor solution into the vial containing the freeze dried sealer protein concentrate. Using a blue scaled syringe, withdraw all the fibrinolysis inhibitor solution from its vial. Tilt the vial slightly to facilitate withdrawal of all the solution, but do not invert the vial or inject air into the vial. Next, inject all of the fibrinolysis inhibitor solution into the sealer protein vial. Again, do not invert the vial. Check the sealer protein vial to make sure that all of the sealer protein has been moistened. Gently swirl the vial to ensure that the freeze-dried material is soaked. Place the sealer protein vial back into the largest opening of the fibrinotherm device with the appropriate adapter if needed and activate the magnetic stirring by pressing the green switch. Allow the vial contents to stir until the sealer protein is fully dissolved. While the sealer protein solution is mixing, go ahead and prepare the thrombin solution. Remember, to prevent premature product activation, do not use the syringe previously used with the sealer protein solution. Using the black-scaled syringe, withdraw all the calcium chloride solution. Tilt the vial slightly to facilitate withdrawal of all of the solution, but do not invert the vial or inject air into the vial. Now inject all the calcium chloride solution from the black vial into the black vial containing thrombin. Again, do not invert the vial or inject air into the vial. Swirl the contents of the thrombin vial briefly, then replace the thrombin vial in the appropriate heating well in the fibrinotherm device. Reconstitution of the thrombin is complete when all of the thrombin concentrate is dissolved. Keep the thrombin solution at 37 degrees Celsius until needed. Check the sealer protein vial to make sure that the dry powder is completely dissolved in the fibrinolysis inhibitor and that no particles are sticking to the upper portion of the vial. If any of the freeze-dried sealer protein is visible, do not shake the vial, but gently swirl it and then replace it in the magnetic stirring well. When thoroughly mixed, the sealer protein solution should appear as a thick, slightly opaque, homogeneous solution. If the sealer protein concentrate has not dissolved within 20 minutes using the fibrinotherm device, discard the vial and prepare a fresh kit. When the solution is completely mixed, 
Turn off the green switch to deactivate the stirring well and leave the sealer protein and thrombin solutions in the fibrinotherm device until they are needed for transfer to the sterile field. After storage in the fibrinotherm, short stirring is recommended to ensure homogeneity. Open the sterile accessory package for the scrub nurse. You are now ready to prepare to seal fibrin sealant for application. During the process of transfer to the sterile field, shown in detail here, the circulating nurse will hold the sealer protein and thrombin solution vials, while the scrub nurse withdraws the solutions and prepares the to seal fibrin sealant duploject applicator. First, attach a needle to the blue scaled syringe and withdraw slowly all the sealer protein solution using firm, constant aspiration to reduce the risk of large air bubbles. Remove air bubbles by removing the needle and tapping the side of the syringe once or twice firmly while holding the syringe in an upright position. Next, attach a needle to the black scaled syringe and withdraw all the thrombin solution, again removing air bubbles by gently striking the side of the syringe. Place the filled syringes of sealer protein and thrombin solution into the syringe clips of the duploject applicator. When snapping the syringe barrels into place, be sure that the flanges of the syringes and the syringe plungers fit into their slots in the duploject applicator. Now attach the joining piece to the syringe hubs, ensuring both are firmly seated, and secure the joining piece by fastening the tether strap to the duploject applicator. Be sure not to push the plunger during handling. Finally, Fit the cannula tip to the joining piece. If air is expelled from the cannula tip before use, this could activate the product and create a clot at the tip of the cannula. Once reconstituted, the to seal fibrin sealant kit must be used within four hours. Do not refrigerate a partly used syringe. If the product is not used within four hours, the product cannot be used and must be destroyed. If the cannula tip or joining piece clogs, Replace with the spare joining piece or tip provided in the to seal fibrin sealant package. Your to seal fibrin sealant is now ready to use. The wound surface should be as dry as possible before application. Apply to seal fibrin sealant to the wound area as a thin layer and repeat if necessary before previous application is fully polymerized.